Welcome back. We're here to talk about Sunday's Premier League match between Manchester United and QPR. Matt, do you think this is Lou Van Gaal's best chance to end his winless one as United boss? I think it's a game you'd have chosen, wouldn't it? You know, with respect to QPR, a home game after obviously all the players coming back after the international break, after the transfer window. You know, at home is what you'd want against a newly promoted team. You know, there's no gimmies with United. You know, years gone by, you'd have said this is like sort of a you know a comfortable win, but. It's saying that I think they will get off to the first win. I think it'll be important to get the first three points on the board, and I'm confident that will happen this weekend. And Pascal, they got their QPR got their first win and first goal of the season. How much of a weight is it off their shoulders? Yeah, definitely. It's because it wasn't a good start at all. Losing at home to Hull on the first day and then getting smashed by Spurs in the second. But they were really two poor games to start the season. But then to get the first win, like you say, at home to Sunderland, big morale booster. But like Matt says, this is a really tough game. It's going to be quite a different United team coming on. You've got the likes of Adam Alfagal, obviously the big one. Di Maria came in, Rojo, yeah. Herrera, Shaw all coming back in. What do you make of the team that's going to come out? It's going to be completely different. I mean, you look at the one who played Burnley and you're probably thinking four players might be retained. You know, De Gea, Jones, if he's fit, Rooney, Di Maria. There's obviously question marks over Matter and Van Persie, whether both, both could miss out. You know, you look at the team coming in, like you say, there's big debuts. Shaw's going to be fit, Herrera will come back in. Obviously, he played against Swansea, didn't he, but then got injured. Uh, Daily Blind coming in, like you say, Falcao. And I think when you look at QPR, are going to look at this team. And I don't think when Burnley looked at the team last time out, they probably didn't think, you know, wow, like we've got too much to worry about here. But I think when QPR look at the 11 that's put in, they're going to have to, a lot to worry about, certainly going forward. I think they'll fancy their chances of nicking Saint down the other end. But if it was me, I'd, I'd personally go Falcao and Rooney up front with Matter behind and leave Van Persie on the bench with sort of Di Maria, Blind, and Herrera in midfield. But, you know, there's a lot of options of Angel in this, that's for certain. Pascal off the pitch, there's been issues about QPR's financial fair play. Do you see that affecting them? I don't think it will particularly. I mean, Tony Fernandez, the chairman, he said that he's if they if they are fined, this is around fifty million. If they are fined, he's going to appeal it and not pay it. But you know, they did spend so much more money than anyone else in the championship last season. If they haven't made the money back, then they've broken the rules and they should pay it because Man City there are going to pay their uh, fine. So there's no reason why QPR shouldn't pay theirs really. What's your score prediction for this weekend? Well, I think United will win. I mean, I'm going to go three one. But I mean, Matt was saying about. Um, all these new players coming in and how QPR might be scared of all these superstars but they haven't had a chance to play yet so I think Harry Redknapp will fancy that they might this United team might not have gelled yet and I think QPR could nick something but it's hard to look past United so I'm going to say 3-1 Matt, score prediction? Uh, I'm going to go 3-0 yeah I think United, you look at the front players it's difficult to see them not scoring down the end. I wouldn't be surprised at all if they conceded you know but I think it'll go 3 0, and it will be, hopefully, it will be Van Gaal's first three points. You know. Yeah, I see this being a, com- a completely different game to the other United games. I'm going to go for a comfortable 2 0 win for United. So we're going for comfortable United victories. Thanks for watching.